guys, this is Anish Shridhar with the actually like a quick tip like in in the Maxons you know thingy. So this is my new animation I'm rendering out. It's well, it's gonna come out soon. When I finish rendering, it's about tell four thousand frames. Uh, so that's about two minutes, uh, a bit more, of it, a bit over two minutes. Uh, and I think it's okay. It's not very special. I didn't really work on it a long time. But if I worked on it really hard, I'd, it won't be on this topic. It'll be like a music video. Uh, this is just an animation. It's like it's my true first true animation, I would think, because all my previous animations just uh, was just for a learning experience. This I didn't really learn anything. I just worked uh, on what I knew, knew so far. So I guess it'll help me. Um, so let's get to the tutorial. Um, so uh, when I hit play, uh, there's so much lag and the frames per second is very low as you can see. Uh, so you change that and you want it at real time and this messes you up so many times like say you think that he's going at a good pace but he's actually going super slow. When you render it out and you hit play it's like, <laughs> you're like what, it's so slow. Uh, <laughs> and then you get confused and stuff like that. So how to change it is you go to com uh, press Control D or Command D and then you change this thing FPS which is frames per second and you just change it to like 9 or something depending on how good your computer is and uh, depending if you if you think it's real time or not you can just see so you can count right so now no this is not real, real frames per second so it's not real time, so let's change that to like 5, and then hit play, 1, 2, and now that is not real time. Also, so I'm, I mine was at 9 before, but right now I'm recording, so it's kind of lagging. So if I did it, put it at like 2, of course it'll work, so it'll be real time for sure. Yeah, that's real time. <laughs> So he's walking around and the Enderman follows him. Oh, uh, teleportation. And I didn't use any particles because I'm too lazy to do that. And it's not a very professional animation. But I, once I learn Adobe After Effects, I'll be making animations like Slam a Cow. <laughs> I hope I'm learning how to change the sky settings to like that earthbending video he made, um, which was amazing. I thought the lighting was like incredible but I learned that he did in Adobe After Effects and uh, half of the special effects and the lighting is done in Adobe After Effects and the depth of field and everything because if you render it in Cinema 40 it'll take like hours and hours <laughs> if you do those effects in Cinema 40 but it is possible but render times is in high enormous so that's why we should use Adobe After Effects um, to reduce the time and to have more uh, options and stuff. So this wasn't really a quick tip. <laughs> it's a few things on what I think I should have said. And by the way, you should be seeing ads in my videos now. My I'm starting to earn quite a bit of money, about three dollars in three days. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm getting. I think I get sixty percent of it or something like that uh, and once I get some animations out I might be earning a bit more and then if this turns out very well and I can buy myself a computer I can be making animations pretty frequently and you, yeah it'll be pretty cool uh, so uh, yeah I have 312 subscribers I never imagined that <laughs> I would think myself at uh, well, what the future holds, I don't know. Can be five uh, five thousand. Um, I don't care for uh, right now. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching and bye.